They look like gold. I think they are gold. Why are they so cheap, though? Is it a trick? They may be cars. That would be my guess. <laughs> Still worth it. Hey, I'll take these beads. All right. Thanks, pal. Was that wise? That was the last of your money. You don't get paid for a while, right? You have no idea for a curse. Yeah, you're right. No, it doesn't really matter. I'll never be able to afford vinyl stuff. I can't even afford a speck of the ore he uses. So, I want you to have him. Because, you know, even if you're cursed, you'll be able to do it with stuff. Plus, your work is good. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know how long it'll be before they're gone, though. It might be years. It <laughs> doesn't matter. They're yours. Thank you, Kayan. That's what it sounds like. What? For what? That sword? But it's garbage! I can tell from here! Ever come across something that needed to be cut only to find out that all of your knives are dull, chipped, cracked, bent? Well, look no further! Sharp Tastic Edges brings you their new fantastic blade! Made with space age polymers, it never goes dull and never needs sharpening! A step right up and offer anything to be sliced! It does so in an instant! A clean share you can't get anywhere else. Cowink? What? That's impossible. That's almost literally a piece of trash straight from the garbage can. Maybe so. There's no way you can cut this. <laughs> Bold words, miss. Step right up and witness the power of sharp-tastic technology. Pay attention. Have you noticed anything strange, Kyan? Whoosh! What? Kyan, look. Sharp tasty, huh? Can that knife best a sword in combat? This knife? <laughs> Do you mean this knife sword? If it's not got a sharp tastic edge, it can hardly be called a weapon. We'll see about that. Those guys! They're hanged men! Precisely. Shook! Wow, that sword got cut? Jeez. With a sharp-tastic blade, anything is possible. A sharp-tastic blade, you say? <sighs> Tell me more. Wow, so cool! Come on! How is anyone falling for this? They're clearly in cahoots! Well, most of the audience has never even heard of a hanged man, let alone seen one. We are in a tropical region. The bodies won't last, but that doesn't matter. They don't look at all related to the untrained eye. They'll move on and find new bodies after this scan is complete. It's quite the trick. I come to you good folks today with a plea, and an offer. I cannot travel to my homeland carrying these, and as such I must get rid of them. Imitations can go for up to 500,000 brits elsewhere. But today I am selling not one, not two, but three of these incredible edge knife swords. How much would you expect to pay for a genuine sharp tap? Fantastic and curly edge knife sword, made with the very latest in space age polymers, able to cut through all the things you saw today and more, iron, steel, other swords, and is never in need of sharpening. One million, seven hundred thousand, six, five, four, three. Good folks, today is your lucky day, as I am selling not one, not two, but three of these simply amazing knife swords for the insanely low price of only 100,000. I want one. No, me. No, I'm going to list one. They're caught up in the spirit of the moment, the allure of a great deal. How could they not be? They don't understand their craft. You ain't getting my knife sword. You shut your gentlemen, women, and others. There is no need for violence. Hi, uh, you're probably more familiar with me as the voice of Calliope or Mo, but I'm also the person who edits the videos, Twee. Um, we recorded most of these audio recordings around 
ooh, I want to say March, maybe February, and uh, we never really got around to finishing the rest of them. Um, mostly because people were busy and we had fallings out between the groups, but um, it's been months since then, and I just felt like. I owed it to all the people who put hard work into the recordings and the editing of the images for the comic to just make the video, even though we didn't have it fully completed. This isn't even like half of chapter three, so uh, if you liked what you saw, maybe go read the actual comic. I don't know. <laughs> uh, originally, the reason why we made this project was... Uh, I always found it much more easier to get into comics when there is something to listen to, uh, like audiobooks for instance, because I had difficulty focusing when it comes to reading. And uh, I've actually uh, gotten into a lot of different comics via just people reading them uh, on YouTube. And I knew that there wasn't really one for Floriverse, um, despite the fact that there are many different videos for Floriverse that include animations and, uh, you know, their videos. <laughs> I thought it was weird that like no one had actually ever vo voiced them before and I had always wanted to voice a project because uh, when I was younger before I transitioned uh, yeah I'm fucking trans who isn't um, before I transitioned I did a whole bunch of like uh, voice acting work and I always wanted to do something that was actually uh, published and produced uh, but I never really got around to it because mostly I just read uh, fan fiction to my friends. <laughs> Mostly uh, Fallout fanfiction, <laughs> but um, so here it is. Um, if you want to know who did what, uh, you can check the description of the video as always. Um, do not expect any more from here on out. Uh, I heavily doubt the group will ever get back together, or at least not with me included. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is uh, what we were able to produce for chapter three, um, even though we never really got around to finishing it. It's still wild to me that we finished not only the prologue, but chapters one and two all in the month of January before I started uh, college in that spring semester. Uh, but I guess we just never really got around to chapter three. We had uh, plans set out for the entire comic. Um, in fact, actually, we did some joke bits that I'll include after this little thank you message. Um, just because, you know, we put work into it. I thought it should it should be out there where people can hear it and see it, regardless of uh, whether or not they're uh, in the servers that created it or not. Um, so anyways, thank you all for whoever's still listening to this garbage. I don't think I have any viewers at this point, but you never know. Um, anyways, here's some jokes. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. It's hopeless. I might as well give in. Kick the bucket right here and now. There's nothing worth living for anymore. My life up to this point has been a series of tragedies. A comedy of errors. All at my expense. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? Well, it was a nice life. You might think that the crowning achievement for any race would be global peace, or perhaps knowledge of everything in its world. We had both! We achieved the former first, and it granted us pride beyond compare, baby! It allowed us to seek out the latter! Knowledge! Something we should not have sought, had we wished to remain blissful. And we always were afraid of the unknown, though, so it was inevitable. Because of that fear, we desired to know everything, and we succeeded! Ha <laughs> ha!